Here we are for game one. I won the die roll. Uh, unfortunately, I could not keep this hand, so I decided to mulligan it. Uh, this hand is much better. Uh, there's the non-bow of Spirit of the Labyrinth plus Sylvan Library, but that may not matter too much. I don't have to play both cards. And I have a Windfall, and I have a Crossing Grip, and I have just a couple of lands to play. It's kind of a risky keep, but at the same time, it's a little slow. But this is the first time I was testing this deck, so I wanted to see what just an average draw would do. So turn one, I get a tapped Watery Grave. This is so that I can produce double white or double green or double blue from my filter lands. Uh, these players have relatively slow starts as well. I'm very happy to not see a turn one Soul Ringer Mana Crypt. Uh, so I go ahead and jam the library because that just makes the most sense. I want to see more cards. Tristani's still not doing anything. This other guy's still not doing anything. Perforus is still not doing anything. So now I library, keep a land, put the other two back. I'm pretty conservative with this library because um, normally I like to draw a million cards, but because I have Eidolon of Rhetoric coming into play, I don't think having tons of cards matters as much. I also have Windfall if I ever really, really want to draw some more cards. Perforos decided to quit. Maybe he missed a land drop or something. Uh, I library, I find Notion Thief. So, Notion Thief plus Windfall gives me a clear avenue to really mess their worlds up. So, I decided to pass with my mana untapped. He plays Tristani. He plays some Sapperling thing. And at this point, I realize that they are just fully outclassed by what I'm going to be doing. Like, there's probably nothing they can do to interact with this. So, I decide to play Windfall. Leaving up regeneration. So I draw a million cards. Discard a bunch of cards. Um, try to keep like what I, only the cards that I think are going to be necessary to, to win the game from here. Which shouldn't take much because of the situation here. He's got a Tristani. He's got a Fungus thing. And whatever this is. I'm not worried about any of this stuff. Uh, so... He plays his commander, because that's basically all he can do. Then I find Vampiric Tutor, which is nice. I decide to play Living Plane. I actually missed a land drop there, but it doesn't matter. Uh, I should have played my land, but it ends up not mattering. He just concedes, um, and this guy concedes as well. But what was going to happen next turn was I was going to Vampiric Tutor for Linvala, and their lands are done. So that would be it for the game. Uh, there's not very many things you can do to get out of that. And I think they realized the writing was on the wall for this game. So that's it for this one.